BDD is standing by, so here's Jisun for some translate. Congratulations on the win! It took you guys two years to take down T1. The last time you guys defeated T1 was 2018 World Qualifier. How do you feel, Roller? Yeah, I mean, it's been a long while, especially with this dual win. I'm so glad. Yeah, for Ruler especially, <laughs> it has been two years. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I can't even remember winning T1. BDD with the 900 POG points, how do you feel? Today was a must-win match for us, and I was doing such hard work, and I'm happy that I was able to secure this win. And this time around, you guys looked so confident facing up against T1. What was the mindset going into the series today? Our head coach Odin and also coaching staff told us, do not care about the opponent, just focus on your own play. And we all tried our best to not pay too much attention who our opponent is. I think that could be a very standard mindset. And today was the day you guys were able to overcome this kind of mind block. What was different coming in today? Recently, we are in our prime form. We are just all performing really well. I guess everything just clicked in today. And Ruler, Aspic was the core part of Genji's recent success. What was the focal point of today's pick and ban? Ash is always viable. It depends on the situation of the pick and ban. Kalista, Ash, Ezreal, everything is viable. Ash, I guess for Ruler, is one of the um, just <laughs> on meta picks here in the LCK. But on Ezreal today, you won 12-0-3, doing mo more than half of your team's damage. That was massive. I didn't really check the um, stats after that game, so I didn't know. Feels nice. 12-0-3. 12 kills, no that's 3 assists, and 50.3 percentage of your team's damage. BDD, you also did a lot of work on Oriana during team fights. And there were... How was the teamwork with um, Genji players in game number one? Especially with the with you and support. We wanted to just go <laughs> as we planned, and Ruler just managed to survive till the end of the fight. I have a question about your Oriana. Oriana is having a bit of a frame here in the LCK, but still you're going with this pick, so what's your thought on this champion? I mean, I believe Oriana is a pick when this team doesn't really have much champion to pick. Well, I've watched Rookie playing Oriana in the LPL, and unless you go really hard on this champion, Oriana is not that really meaningful, so I try to copy his playstyle. Another mid lane pick I want to ask you about is Zoe. Zoe is a symbol of a heavyweight here in the LCK. Do you think that Zoe, the champion itself, is really strong? Or it is about the players, how they pilot it? When we are playing up against it, or when other teams are playing up against it, Zoe is a very irritating champion, so I think it's a really good champion. And it's time for the MBDD <laughs> official <laughs> report card time. Last time it was 2.0 out of 10, but how was your performance today on a scale of 10? 
For game number one, I was a little bit disappointing, but today we were able to take down the must-win opponent, so I'll give 5 out of 10. This kind of hard carry mode is only a 5 out of 10 for BDD. Well, looking forward to seeing more of BDD's super play. And moving on, you'll be facing up against Dynamics in your upcoming series. We are showing a lot of good performance recently. We will keep up the hard work and keep this rolling on. We are in the uprising form and I can really feel it. And we will keep this work going and we will keep stepping up throughout the split. This will be the end of the interview with BDD Ruler from Genji. I'm going to pass it back to our casters. Thank you.